welcome to my YouTube channel. It is B King the Goat. Obviously. <laughs> First and foremost, let me just say, make sure you guys like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoy my videos. I'm eating. I'm sorry. Hold on. If you're already subscribed to my channel, then thank you and welcome back. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you can hit that notification bell to let you guys know when I make my uploads, which I've been pretty consistent lately. I'm going to try to stay consistent. Um, well, let me not say try. I am going to be consistent. I have been consistent. I just woke up from my nap. Shout out to Alabama State. Gang, gang. Rep the same gang. Never there, but always repping. Shout out to the Stingettes. Um, yeah. So, just woke up from my nap. I probably look a little crazy. But if anything, I should feel well rested. I probably don't look well rested, but I am. I don't know. I just have so much running through my mind. Because, for one, if you watched my last video, then you know that I'm basically getting induced because Boston is just chilling. I think I made the womb um, a little too comfortable for him. Um... Or it could be the fact that I'm so wild that he like, oh, I don't know what's going on out there. Like, let me chip, let me just stay up in here. <laughs> Which I feel you, cause it's real ghetto out here. I don't know. I'm just feeling like a range of emotions because I'm actually about to have the baby now. Like, it's one thing when you go over 40 weeks and you're like. Oh my gosh, like I wonder, you know, when my water's gonna break, when Boston's gonna come, you know what I'm saying? Because you're kind of just leaving it up to God, the universe, and the baby. And then the doctor's like, all right, see you at the hospital on this day. You're getting in, you're, we're gonna start your induction process, pretty much. So, tomorrow night, I will be headed to the hospital. They are going to... Um, insert what they call Servadil to help me dilate because um, I haven't dilated at all. So they're going to give me Servadil at night and then um, I'll get like Pitocin the next day, which will be like the induction per se. So I'll have him the day after I get the, the Servadil. I'm just so nervous. Like... I don't know what to expect. I'm going to have a whole baby. Like, I knew this already, obviously. But it's just now, like, starting to hit me. Like, oh, shit. Like, I'm going to have the baby on this day. I'll be going home on this day with my child. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, I low-key want to cry, but I don't want to, like... I'm, my eyes are watering. I'm such a baby. Ugh, I don't want to cry on camera. Like, that's so whack to me. Like, I just feel like a range of emotions. Like, I'm, like, super fucking excited. And then I'm, like, super nervous. And obviously, I'm scared. This is my first child. Like, I'm just, like... Whew. Damn, sir. The crazy thing is, is that I think he was gonna... He was on his way here regardless because i've been like extra emotional and moody as fuck for like the past week and my attitude been like on 10 and that's kind of how it was in the beginning like and like i think i said that in one of my videos like everything that's been happening in the third trimester was happening in the first trimester so yeah i just wanted to come on here and say I don't know, I just wanted to talk about how I felt since this is the night before I go to the hospital. And, um, I don't know. I can't wait to see my baby and hold him and begin my new life, basically. I mean, I'm going to be living the same type of life, but, you know, I have a 
have a baby. It is a, it's an overwhelming feeling, but I know that I'm gonna be just fine. Cause my faith is like super strong, so I know I'm gonna be okay. It's just like kind of nerve wracking a little bit, but I am about to finish eating these pineapples and I, I want to go ahead and like rewash my sheets again because I'm just I'm just a germaphobe on the low. So wash my sheets, get a little stuff in order, like clean my desk off as much as I can because um, I got a lot of books and notes and stuff on it. But yeah, so I'm going to get my life together so when tomorrow comes, I can just head on out and i will see you guys in my next clip which will be me headed to the hospital so just stay tuned